In order to give a comprehensive description of the moving bodies, we need to talk about the all their relevant properties for the study of their motion. The strict description of real bodies is generally a complicated task. However, in many cases the size of the given body is negligible to the characteristic distances related to its motion. For example in the case of a falling ball. Or the earth revolving around the sun. In such cases we can consider the body as a point-like object. This means we neglect the spatial extension, that is size or the shape of the object, but we still take the mass of the body into account. As a result, we consider a given body as a point mass or a point-like particle with a given mass. The point mass has no spatial extension but possesses mass, that is the mass of the body is concentrated in a single geometrical point. This is the simplest idealized model, which can be used to replace the real bodies in the study of motion. In the examples we mentioned earlier, we can replace the ball with a point mass concentrated in its center with the mass of the ball. And we can also use a point mass instead of the Earth if it has the same mass and is located in the center of Earth. Besides this simple model, we need to use more complicated ones for a more accurate description of moving bodies. Such a model is called a rigid body. In some cases the point mass model gives only a crude approximation. For example the shape of a projectile is important, since the resistance of the air has a considerable effect on its trajectory. The point mass model cannot either be applied in the study of the rotation of a body around its axis, where the spatial extension of the body is crucial. In such cases we need to take into consideration the extension and the shape of the body. If we take the extension, size or shape of the body into account, in some cases we can still ignore the motion of the different parts of the body with respect to each other. The motion or the displacement of the different parts of a body is called deformation, which is a process where the size and the shape of a body is changing. If we neglect the deformation, we can introduce another idealized model called rigid body, where the points in the object cannot change their positions with respect to each other. The model of rigid bodies can be applied in the study of a broad class of phenomena in mechanics, provided no phase transition takes place in the process.